there is a standard approach that is required to compare the physical properties of different organic molecules and that approach is four steps that need to be gone through. The first one is to identify the differences between the molecules, whether those are functional groups or contact surface area differences. The second step is to compare the intermolecular forces that exist between each molecule. The third is to relate those intermolecular force differences to energy. And finally, then compare using that energy relation that to a physical property. There are largely two categories in which these questions happen. The first is where you are given two molecules, two or more molecules that have the same chain length but different functional groups. We've got an example here of an aldehyde that has a formyl group on it and an alcohol that has a hydroxyl group on it. And we can see how we go through this approach. The first step is to identify the differences. That is to say that the aldehyde has a polar carbonyl group on it where the alcohol has a very polar hydroxyl group. The second step is to compare those intermolecular forces. So we would say that the polar aldehyde has dipole-dipole intermolecular forces which are weaker than the hydrogen bonding intermolecular forces that exist on the alcohol. The third step is to relate that intermolecular force difference to energy and that is done in the following way. It is done by saying the stronger hydrogen bonding forces require more energy to separate. And then your final step would be to say, therefore, since more energy is required, the alcohol would have a higher melting point or boiling point or viscosity or a lower vapor pressure than the aldehyde. The second type of question that can come across is one where you have two or more molecules that have the same functional groups, but they have different chain lengths. And here I've got an example of a carbon compound that contains or hydrocarbon with two carbons and a hydrocarbon with five carbons in its chain. And the first step here is to once again identify the differences and we would state here that they are both alkanes or both hydrocarbons but one of them is a two carbon chain where the other is a five carbon chain. The second step there is to compare the intermolecular forces and we would start by stating that since they are both hydrocarbons that they both have London forces acting between them. However, since the five carbon chain has a greater contact surface area than the two carbon chain, therefore the five carbon chain would have stronger intermolecular forces that exist between it than the two carbon chain. Note once again that we are saying that it has more London forces. We are not saying that it doesn't or it has different intermolecular forces. We are just saying that there are more of them and as a result, stronger intermolecular forces. The third step then once again to relate that to energy. So to say, since the five carbon chain has a greater contact surface area and therefore stronger intermolecular forces, it would require more energy to separate the five carbon molecules than the two carbon molecules. And then finally, the fourth step remains exactly the same, where we would state that since more energy is required to separate the five carbon chain than the two carbon chain, it will have the higher melting point, boiling point or viscosity and the lower vapor pressure.